Good evening, everyone. In this video, we are going to go ahead and discuss about IGIDR MSc Economics 2022 exam. To begin with, let us try and see what is IGIDR. IGIDR stands for Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research. This is famously known as IGIDR and it is one of the most uh, you know, one of the very famous institutes for masters in economics paper. Especially if you want to go ahead and you want to pursue PhD in economics, then this is a fab institute to join. It's known for its research work and it is fully funded by Reserve Bank of India uh, for its research work. Now, this coursework of IGIDR, it was started in 2003 and it was started to introduce research work for the students right from their master's program. This is a two year course structure and it basically emphasizes on analytical and problem solving skills also. And that is the reason why its paper also consists of reasoning and analytical problem solving skills, as we will shortly see. Now let's talk about few of the important dates. When are the registration starting? The registration started on the 2nd of May, 2022. When is the registration closing? The registration is closing on 10th of June, 2022. When is the exam? The exam is on 26th of June 2022. What is the eligibility and who can sit for this exam? Anyone, any student who has done bachelor's in economics, in commerce, in statistics, in physics, mathematics, BTEC, all of these people can study the MSc economics paper. Now, this is one of the few institutes in India that does not offer Master of Arts Economics. It actually offers MSc Economics. So it is a good thing, right? Because this is in accordance with what happens outside India, that it is a Master's in Science exam. Now, when it comes to the <coughs> eligibility, you need at least 55% aggregate marks in economics discipline or 60% in other disciplines to sit for this entrance exam. And at least you should have studied maths till class 12th for you to sit in this entrance exam. Let us understand the pattern of the entrance exam. So in entrance exam, there will be basically the following test. The first test would be comprehension, reasoning and analytical ability. Then there would be a test of uh, basic maths and then there would be test of economics plus maths. Now, when I talk about basic maths and when I talk about uh, reasoning, you should be very much familiar with the maths and stats of class 12th. So class 12th maths plus stats. This is essential. Then when it comes to the economics paper that we have here, then this economics paper is not very, very tough. The level of this economics paper is very similar to the level that you have of JNU. Right, but when it comes to the maths level, then for maths, you should be familiar with what comes in DSC, ISI, IIT jam. So very, very close to this is what would be asked in the advanced maths portion. 
Now, when it comes to the advanced maths portion and economics portion, my suggestion will be to do at least the past five years of JNU, DSC, ISI, IIT, JAM last two year papers because there is no specific paper that you will get from IGIDR. You will only get few of the uh, mock tests, right? So one way to prepare for this entrance exam is to do the past years of JNU very well and to do the past years of DSC, ISI, IIT jam, especially for the maths and stats part. Then, you know, when we talk about economics, another very, very important topic that comes in economics is international economics, also called trade. As you know that I covered the entire international economics in 15 chapters. If you have gone through these 15 chapters, no one can stop you from the, uh, you know, from clearing the part of the international economics. This is like a, a complete package in itself. So, you know, this international economics 15 chapters are enough for you to clear GNU, SIS, SSS, DSC, ISI, IGIDR, any, any exam you pick up, the international economics part will not be over and above this part, right? Now let's come to what other can come in economics. So let's talk about microeconomics. In microeconomics, the topics are the same. You have to do consumer behavior. Then you have to do production, cost, general equilibrium. Then you have to go ahead and do market and game theory. These are the important parts. So one more important part that is asked here is uncertainty. This is very important for IIT and IGIDR paper, very important. So this is what consists of the microeconomics paper. Now let's talk about macroeconomics. In macro, you will be asked ISLM model, of course, national income accounting, and you will be asked ASAB models. In IGIDR paper, Dev Eco is super important. So you have to do development economics. For development economics, you must go ahead and you must focus on solo model, Aerodoma model, Poverty, inequality, human development index. These are very, very important topics. And finally, you must be focusing on the Lewis model. Then you know, international, I've told you, my 15 chapters of international are more than enough for you to cover any part of international economics, right? Then you have to talk about, let's talk about maths, calculus, matrix, then linear algebra, same only. Matrix oblique linear algebra actually. And in statistics, you have to do probability, probability distribution, correlation, only CLRM model, not, not in detail not multilinear regression model, only classical linear regression model. So not detailed econometrics, that is not required, okay? And then sample and estimation, t-test, z-test, estimators, estimate, estimates, all of that, right? 
here in maths then you also have to go ahead and do linear programming lpp you have to do quadratics basically you have to have to have to do maths of class 12 addition this has to be done there is no going back from this right you have to cover this so this is about the maths part now sometimes they also ask coordinate geometry they also ask questions related to conics circles parabolas etc but this is there as part of your sedister and hammond also actually the first few chapters have this then let's talk about english and reasoning you can refer to the mock papers of ijdr that should give you an idea of it and you can do the past years of jn that will also give you an idea about what kind of questions can come in exam okay okay now let's talk about the exam centers so these are the exam centers they it's spread across india you can look out for your nearest exam center ahmedabad uh, azilwal bangalore bhopal bhubneshwar chandigarh chennai hyderabad indore jaipur you can look lucknow mumbai delhi punjab pune dehradun you can look out for your center and you can accordingly go ahead and apply for this exam okay if you have any other questions you can post it in the uh, chat below in the comment section below and all the very best for your entrance exam thank you